Hello guys, this is Naki here and today I'm going to explain to you about the deck that I think is most suitable for beginners which is the Dragon Maid. So as you can see, uh, this is a budget version. Okay, so let's just see how it looks when you come to battle. So I will summon the Chambermaid and then I'll get the Hospitality and I'll summon the Parlor in my hand and I discard the Fusion cards and I'll bounce one of the creature from the field to get the fusions cut back to hand and then I'll fusion them uh, to Shoe Shio okay I forgot the name so uh, when the Shio trigger effect my opponent just decided to use Maxi and I decided to counter it because I will have a lot of special summon in his turn as well so I just want to stop the Maxi from uh, happening so I get my house dragon mate and then the Shio triggers and then my chamber dragon mate uh, special summon and I get the downtime so because I don't know what my opponent is playing but downtime is definitely the the card that I want okay in this budget version because we are going to just uh, try to uh, pull ahead with the card advantage and try to beat our opponent down okay we don't really have those uh, expensive beat down cards like the access code okay so we have to use okay our advantage of our fusion okay so now my opponent just decide to use the, his uh, old school combo and get the uh, cyber dragon infinity okay so i have no idea why he's actually giving me the the kaiju <laughs> i have one million percent no idea why but uh he like it so yeah because he can negate one of my effects so i decided to use the parlor first then only i use my chambermaid's effect so in this time he don't dare to attack because uh, he will commit suicide together so he thinks it's not worth it and I summon the chamber mid uh, to make him use his infinity effect so in this time the attack of infinity will drop down to 2500 and I will have uh, my power back with monster reborn okay this is a free cut uh, from completing story I think if I'm not wrong so the parliament just uh, discard the tidying which is what usually people will do and then uh, bounce back during the beginning of combat phase and then attack both his creature okay so after that I decided to just bounce back and then uh, put my power back and then it's actually the same you don't need to do this also it's fine just get back the fusion and then uh, fusion your sure again okay so in this budget version you this is your only Con board control and you're trying to just stabilize with it and during opponent standby phase once again okay trigger the effect and opponent use the twister and uh, this is actually a play miss I should have been using the tidying to get my parlor and use the parlor effect first then I bounce my own parlor but um, yeah I didn't sequence it correctly but anyway we, we bounce one of our creature we get our kitchen dragon meat and get back the chamber dragon meat okay so we get our another downtime so this is the version why i play more than one i think it's really good in this meta especially if you're going budget and my opponent just decide okay to uh, come up with the cyber dragons uh, effect and try to special summon something uh, but the showers effect negate that so my opponent just concede 